we back. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, we back at it. We got a couple later risers. We gonna kick this thing off anyway. LSU, LSU, LSU. Mm. She laughing for fuss, dude. I'm laughing because you say we got a few later risers. <laughs> We do. That's how coach be when you late for the meeting. Yeah, yeah you know. Yeah. Hey, the think. show must go on though. Is what I'm saying. The show must go on. We got the statistician, and 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 and. Hey, I saw TJ on stage somewhere. Yeah. What was he on stage the at? Homecoming concert. He was loose up there. I ain't gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Y'all see it? Y'all see my new co-host? Y'all see her in the middle? Red David. Hey, last night was senior night for my baby. I got the shirt on. You see it? Senior night. It was. It was wonderful. Night? What dub? Oh, Did we get man. a dub? You already know, boy. <laughs> dub all day. The playoffs, huh? Oh yeah, no, it was it was uh senior night. It was like the last regular season home game. Uh, Even though they got a tournament this weekend. How do volleyball like? I see. Yeah, that's why I don't know nothing about volleyball. like. How does that work? Like when they go in towards the playoffs, they just go straight into a. Yeah, they don't have like no district that. tournament or no, none no. of that. They like it's all about seeding and ranking, and you know when if you if you one of the top dogs. When the playoffs start, I think the playoffs start next week. So when the, nah, you just get the lower seeds and just crush them. Oh, so it's keep, the same thing as football. Yeah, 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 yeah. And keep it moving. And then you and Lafayette in the Cajun Dome for, you know, the final four. Which we were there last year and lost in the semis to the eventual champion. This year, we're trying to take it home, baby. Gotta take that. Take it home. Shout out to the, 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 the Dunham Tigers, the great coach, Coach Picks. Uh, Coach Donna, love Coach Donna, and those girls, all them girls, man. Great program over there. Boy, senior night. That was wonderful. You remember your senior night? Yeah. You're young enough. You should remember your senior night. I don't remember shit about my we senior night. We didn't even have a senior fun. night for football. I don't think I remember no senior night, dog. It was real fun. Was it we festive? Because, like listen, Dunham had, listen, it was festive over there. They had food trucks outside for man. free. It was like you a hear ceremony. Me? Like, we man. all, like, they had walked us all in and, like, talked about, like, where we plan on going to college, we plan on studying, stuff like that. And then we took pictures up with our family. Everything was real nice. And we, we played somebody dumb, so it wasn't like everybody got to play. It was everybody a loaded. Was, it was, y'all say, y'all put somebody on there, now y'all going to whoop. Mm-hmm. It oh, was it like homecoming. Type yeah, like homecoming. But we won district every single year I was there, so we was going to whoop every team. Oh, all right, all right. We respect it. Poking out her chest, ain't she? Mm-hmm. You see how she get out of her chest? You know. Hey, I feel you. I, Look, I feel you. I feel you. So, no one won the bet. Mm-mm. Who's closer? Me. We had them low, low scores. We yeah, low. I, was I thought it was going to be low. I yeah. Said, well, I said, I said 31 24. Mm-hmm. I was closer. Yeah, you was. You was closer. I was closer. Yeah, you did say, but you said 31 24 Ole Miss. You didn't say 31 24. Nah, LSU. I did say LSU. You I took LSU. LSU. Hell oh, yeah. I thought you said Ole Miss. No. No, that was, t- that was Jordy that said Ole Miss. He was. He Who, was, Jordy? Jordy. No, actually, he went with LSU. This no, Jordan, nah, I Ole took Miss. LSU. He went with Ole Miss? Anytime Jordy say somebody team, else. That's what we're going to No, for real, because he said, he said LSU was going to beat Tennessee, and you seen how that went. Yeah. He said he, he he came on here at Florida State he weekend. He was talking every time. crazy. Yeah, so, nah, I took LSU this week. The only week I ain't take them was Tennessee. Tennessee yeah, that right. was the only one. I took them. Yeah, you was the closest, though. All right. And we got two weeks. We we talk about the other one later, but let's get into – I mean, man, what a – we talk a lot about – um consistency right and 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 being better like that's how you gauge anything you do anything you do y'all in school so the consistency how you do your school work me consistency how i how i am as a man a father all that and when you're playing football at the quarterback position consistency how you play the position and we was talking about this too before we got on Jaden daniels has been playing lights out Consistent. for the last two weeks Three weeks. I think it's 11 touchdowns, 736 yards. Yeah, 11 no touchdowns in the last two weeks. I mean, on paper, you can good every week. Account, well, you, well, listen, not good enough. To win. Right, but. But he's been getting better. Right. He's been getting better every week for sure. Had some had some throws where uh, I think he probably won him back, like in terms of just the way he threw the ball. Placement. But, yeah. Placement. Right. But, I mean, all in all, it was a great game, fam. Great week. A great week for him, a great week for that offense. Uh, just continuing continuing to learn it. We always say that the, the offense comes along a little bit later than the than the um 
defense does, and it's true in this case as well. Because this kid is playing better, the offense is playing better. You can see the confidence. I'm going to tell you what the best part about it was for me, bro, was the offensive line. Yeah. The offensive line, the, the amount of time that kid had to sit back there and read a book, you know, turn yeah. around, read we another have, chapter, went to the stand, went to the you stand, know, got some go grab tomorrow. some pop. They got some Jamaican food in the stadium, too. It's pretty good. Listen, I'm going to have to cook for y'all. Y'all are tripping. Man, look. Um, please. Please, yeah. I got y'all. Don't stop. stop. You always bringing jerk. that up to me, I'm trying to saying. entice me. Yeah, because I'm trying to see if you're going to really cook for the kid. <laughs> There's nothing better than what I do, okay? All right. I'm going to have to prove it to you. All right. Next week. Next week. I got you. All right? We're going to have a nice little spread and, and let you see. Spi- you like it spicy? Yeah. I want okay. some oxtail. Okay. And some jerk you chicken. Got some well, plantains. Look, my fiance love oxtail. Love my yes. oxtail. Everybody want oxtail. But let's get back to what we were talking yeah, about, I'm not bad, the food. Like, I'm talking track, about you done got like all off track <laughs> by that imitation stuff you been putting in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but but <laughs> the kids playing lights out right now. I mean, listen, he got them, dog, about to play for the lead in the West, basically, in two weeks. You know what yes. I mean? That's what they doing. Then on the same day, you got Georgia, Tennessee, right, at yep. three. They playing for the East. You know what I mean? So, the kid is doing exactly what we talked about on the show like three weeks ago. He's letting the ball go, He's and he's throwing with accuracy. These guys are running after the catch. Let's go ahead and run it, dog. Let's go ahead and run it offensively uh, this week against Ole Miss. And we came in, they got down early again. That's the only thing I don't like about what's happening. We yeah. get down early too quick, and it's too, too quick, consistent, man. But the coaches didn't panic this week. Mm-hmm. That, I think this was more of like a rewind. That, that that that's a feel, you know what I mean. That's a feel. That's a feel. And if and I'm sure if Kayshawn had his back, he'd jump. Mm-hmm. Right? He'd jump, contort, and catch the football. He missed. Kayshawn actually misjudged this. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah, he misjudged, like he misjudged that ball. He missed. It. And, and and then and then even though man, he put that ball in a spot to where you want. And look and see yeah. here. Now this is knowledge of the offense. Changing the play, guys adjusting. This is you wouldn't have saw this in the week two. You didn't see this in week two. You didn't see it in week one, and you got the little rub. That's it what was, I'm saying. It he he caught. It was beautifully executed by him. Now this one ball, I would say he probably think he he well, want to have back because it, it was underthrown, but he was open like early. He had him. Go to the wide screen. Okay, see okay. what you see here is the the fact that he's not trusting it. You know what I mean? And then too much air on the football. Yeah. But he's he has to understand in this and go back to that spot there and freeze it for me. He got on well, freeze. He can freeze it there. He can under he got to understand that he was trying to hold that safety in the middle of the field too much. He's already had no ball fake because the the back aborted the fake, right? So now the back aborted that tells you either he sensed pressures coming, so he's aborting it to go pick up the linebacker or whoever's coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, so now. He should understand, which meaning Jay uh, Daniels should understand that now. My man's in the middle of the field. He cannot get over here. It's a double move outside. Quickly hitch and go. Put the ball up quicker and flatten it out quicker. Too lazy of a ball. And you can see the safety getting over there. He would have been nowhere in the play. That's just a bad ball by him. Something they have to work on. You know what I mean? But, he got and, the but, ball. but listen, this is I pointed this out last week. Pause it. I pointed out that last week. His worst timing to a receiver so far. Is with BT. Mm-hmm. It's with BT. Yeah. Every every ball of BT has either been underthrown or oh. overthrown uh-huh. or high, yeah. and it's they they just got to get their little chemistry down because BT the one. Mm-hmm. You see it. Oh yeah. man, the guys the guys special. That's a flat ball. Put that in the back corner. That's a touchdown. Because look at one. One's yeah. nowhere near this he football. Even, even there was no it. need for a fake. There was no need for nothing. So this is something that they're going to clean up. This is the same thing that I'm saying about. This is the same thing that the coaches are telling him right here. You got That's what you just pointed out, Wes. He's not even on the hash. Yeah. He was in the middle of the field from the beginning of the play. So now, even if you went back to the beginning, the cornerback that's on Brian Thomas uh, Jr., you will see him once the play starts, his – Ass is to the sideline, mm-hmm. right? Looking inside the whole time. I'm run. I mean, actually, on this, you never you like right here. You can just run a straight go route. You going? He, that's touchdown. Flatten it out. That's touchdown. They'll fix that. That's that's easy. That's easy fix. But and like you pointed out, you got the pi. This is hold on. This is this uh, th- this formation right here is easily turned into one of their one of their uh, most dependable 
formations. It's three, really it's a three by one. It's usually a three by one with the running back in the backfield to the same side, but now it's a three by two. But this is a formation that they love to get these guys spread out in space like they do down here to the bottom with the three receivers. You got down here, you got uh, Jare Jenkins, Booty, and uh, that's Jack, that's a tight Jason end. Taylor. Taylor. What you gonna do? You know what I mean? Look, look, when we talk about off and getting the ball out your hands, three steps, get it out here to Jare, let him work. You know what I mean? Look how off these guys are because they're, th they're, they're deadly, they're terrified these guys getting deep. Look at the time here by the offensive line like what we talked about. No. That's a late ball as well. Yeah, and, and it was a duck. I saw it. You can tell from how you can tell from how he threw it with the swing in motion. No hitch in the step. It's just a straight sling. He saw it late, right? Yeah. Saw it late. Because Jare. Yes. He was down yes, there doing yes. this. And this is the thing. Anytime we bring we taught, anytime as a as a quarterback. If you have a three receiver side, such as we did just now, pause it. So you even have it here. Now you have a, a, a what is this? A it's five. A, it's a, it's a one, quad. two, three, four. So well, that, it's really five. Two, yeah. Three, yeah. On that side. So even you're taught anytime you have like three receivers on one side, and you have vertical route, three vertical routes, which is what they had on the last one, mm -hmm. right? You're taught to give that side a look because if the bus is going to occur, it's going to occur uh, eight to twelve yards down the field, right away. And that's what happened on the last play. It was a bust, and he saw it late because he was looking to the other side. Mm. Nice. Now he has been hitting on the short tier. Nice. He's been getting the ball out of his hands real quick. Uh, it's been clean, and these guys have been – and he's been doing a good job because these guys have been doing a good job after catch. We've been saying that for two weeks, man. As long as we could get these guys in space and get them the ball, that they could do a lot after the catch. See, I didn't. He didn't have to jump right here. That's that's what he didn't have to jump at all. Watch. He no, could have caught that ball and and been in the end zone, and he still almost got in. That's just how freaky he is. That was a tough play. That's a tough play. He probably could have ran through it. Yeah. He probably could have ran through it. You know, guys like that, because I am not that kind of athlete, I don't have a question. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what he does. <laughs> like, like I, you know I, when I saw it, I was like, maybe he had to jump. But look at the line here. You can't ask for a cleaner pocket, man. And just the poise right here and getting out to Josh. Josh had a hell of a game. Mm -hmm. He did. Josh had a hell of a game. Josh been taking the cake every week. He has, man. He that has. Had, had a, uh, Same thing here. Look how clean his pocket is. You seen the stunt. <laughs> the go back. You see the twist. You even see the twist. Now, we seen the twist on the offensive line. The same two weeks, you see the same twist here picked up. Same twist Josh, here, hat on hat, picked up. Josh did pick it up. He put it down. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, and, <laughs> and that's that's what you want. Look at the poise, head downfield, dump it off. And that's what you want. That's that's what you want. That's how that's what the kid from um, um, Tennessee does. This is how he plays the position. No one running open. You dump, chump it, uh, check it down. Could have checked it down a little bit quicker. But he did. Check it down and get to it. And that's what you want to do as a quarterback. Now what it is, you're in favorable down the, down the distance now. Here go to four by one again. Nice. Ha having good one back was a big boost to that running back room because I think John Emery might be hurt. Yeah, Emery's hurt a little bit. And, yes, anytime – like I told you last week, man, I don't worry about the running backs. Anytime you get a guy like this back – as boost as you as you pointed out, and you got to be able to block. Man, look at seven. You got to be able to block. Seven man. Get in the way. You got to be able to get in the way. Look. Ain't gonna say with blocking. You got to get he, in the way, baby. He, he did it though. Yeah, he gave him that crease. Getting the ball out quick. This is all, this is what I'm talking about. This is Kayshawn Booty. This and is if, what you want to see from and him. And I think if he, and he don't, loves it, if he don't slip, if, like this tackle right here, he slipped that he gone. But you see that you see see when guys know that they're gonna be involved. And the guy's going to get the ball out. It's a little bit more juice in your step. Mm. This is a wonderful play call. You see the lineman coming out, trying to punish something. Uh, BT got to get that block. BT got to get that block. Another time. Here we go. It's another three by two. Nice and easy plays. This is when he takes off on them. These are the plays I'm talking about. You got a tight end that you can get the ball out. Simple flat curl combination. Simple slant flat combination. And you get your tight end down the side for what, 40? 35. Yeah. But look how the ball's coming out of his hands, though. He's sitting in the pocket. Ball's coming out of his hands. He's hitting these guys coming. They're designing routes now to clear out and come underneath. And this is what's happening. BT's open here, too, even if you want to take a shot at that. And what you can tell you something. When you have all these guys on one side, it creates a one-on-one -on -one all the time. You just got to find it.
14 personnel. It's game, like bro. stealing. It's like stealing down here with him. When you get down here with all these good tight ends, then you add in a Kayshawn or you add in a, 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 a eight, mm -hmm. and you have him with this run pass option, and you don't know. I mean, it's it's you can't stop that, man. You can't stop. Here we go again with the three by one. Look how much space there is. You don't want to take that now. You don't want to take that in two but weeks. You, you don't want to take in the that. Game, he started sliding. Yeah, you don't want to take that now. You definitely don't want to take that. But he be popping right back up, man. Yeah, you don't want to take that though. I I understand the run, but right now the way he's playing, you don't want to take that. Yeah. Nice pick up here. Center got beat. Got work. out. That's what you want. That should have been a flag. It was. That should have been targeting everything. I think they did call it targeting, but they looked back at it. I don't think it was. But he it, threw the shoulder, though. Yeah. He threw the shoulder. That was a smart play. Got up down the middle and got out of bounds. I mean, excuse me, got down. Smart play. That was the one time the offensive line did have a little bust. But look at smooth pocket here, get the ball out of his hand. And let me tell you something. That is a deep, deep throw. That is a deep throw. That's a hash all the way outside. Great placement. Great placement on the ball outside where only BT could get it. I mean, you could make, though, that's a, that's a big-time throw, man. That's a big-time throw way across the field. Yeah, when I saw him breaking them throws, I was like, yeah. He, he can throw the football. Got, oh, yeah. I mean, I know that, but seeing him do it was the thing. Now, that one's one I think he probably won't bet. Well, just get that up and flip it to him. He's trying to go back. Moving up in the pocket, the ball's too low. You got to keep that ball elevated up here to show the level. Now all you're doing is spitting it out instead of you coming up in, in the pocket like that. And this is just. Ole uh, Miss. Ole Miss, they, they, they got scored on, same play. Well, they ain't get it right. <laughs> and all that is a copycat lead, but we do that. Yeah. That's why I say That's down there, there is That's stealing. Down there is stealing for this offense. And now they even, and Ole Miss played that perfect. Yeah, they did. They had the but you still got to make the tackle. You got to make the tackle. Same here. And he's so quick around the corner. Yeah, like it's like almost yeah, deceptive. He's quick around. Like, it is deceptive because you, you deceptive. would think it's like he's even no, and then deceptive. he's away. It's very deceptive. It's very deceptive. And I think that you can't really plan for it until you see it in person. Mm -hmm. And that's why you always see him around the corner. The kid is slick. He's slick. Speaking speaking of slick. Great job by uh, Godwin. So Great job fake. by him. And picking that block up. Great job by him. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Wait till we go to commercial. Wait till we go to commercial. Yeah, great job by him. Same three by one here. He ran hard. He ran hell all day. He ran hard all day. Great combination he with him our, and Godwin back. that's our finisher right there. Yeah, he runs hard all day. And I and he gets it, it doesn't matter, dog. Like as the game goes on, Josh gets better. Yeah, he gets better. He gets better. For sure. He gets better and he runs with a fucking chip. That's the other thing I like about Big Dog. He runs with a chip, like y'all ain't about to forget about me. Don't overlook me. I'm coming. You know what I'm saying? That's what I like about him. He runs with an attitude, personality, a real attitude, boy. There you go, 50. Push him off the ball. That offensive line, I was impressed with him. Mm. I was impressed with him, dog. I was impressed with him. They was pushing people around, pushing them off the ball. That's where we took over the game at was the offensive line. The offensive line ran through all that. Yeah. So, Ole Miss in the books. I got some defense, too, whenever you. Ole Miss in the books. Offense in the books. Uh, defense. I just, I mean, I just want to see Harold Perkins. He was all over the place. You heard what, you heard what, 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 what Lane, Lane said? said? <laughs> you heard what Lane, Lane said? You heard who Lane put in there? The game was different until they started playing number four. Yeah. Only thing I don't like about it, man, we always give up some shit early. It's mm -hmm. so always something early, and, and, and you can't, like, when you start, you don't put yourself in the game, but digging yourself out them holes, that shit only going to last for so long. And when you start playing them, them gangsters, it ain't going to work. You know, anytime you anytime I see a DB in a trail position is over, mm -hmm. especially if you're going deep. You know what I mean? Line getting good push, just got that's too much. That's too much. We yeah, missed one right there. That's too much. That yeah, sure. we missed that. That's too much though. He's sitting on it and went for the double move when 
That's Sage. No, that's a great Who is that? Group, great Three group. Brooks. That ain't even his responsibility. You got two underneath. You got deep third. Get back. A lot of communication, and that's what that's what it does when you when you. They uh, just ran a rub, right? Yeah, a lot of communication. You you anytime. Oh lord. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh no, yeah, Jay Ward, that was Jay Ward! Oh no, that was Jay Ward! That might have been Oh no, I ain't do my ball like that! I think the old Miss game might have been one of his worst games. Jay Ward! To date. Oh no. Oh, that hurt my heart to see that that was five right there. Oh no. See, this is the thing. This is the thing I don't like, but it's just too many holes. Like but I'm going to tell you, you see it always, bro, like with, with Matt House, right? Matt House, the one thing you've seen from Matt House thus far that you know about him is he's a hell of a, 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 a game time adjuster. Once he come out of halftime and he's seen what you're doing, he adjusts and he put them guys in a position to win. And, and, and that's the one thing. What you got up here? This that's the one thing you know about him. Oh, I'm going to let it play. Who was that? That was the Giants. It's just like a, it's like a comparison to the plays that they run. Let me see that. To, the Giants and the yeah, it's, talk, it's a double pass that Ole Miss ran. It's Tampa. First down. For a screen. Now yeah, throw it back to the quarterback. Yeah. Like a throwback pass, but it was a hole. You saw the hole up top, and it was for the first down. I don't like throwback. I don't like throwback plays all the way from one side of the field to the other. Now, if you got a, 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 a hot pursuing defense, but if you got a defense that's that's uh, disciplined, and this is, this is what you had here. 30 played it well, 92 played it well, that is Wingo played it well. All them guys played it well, even though they picked up the first down. Could have been a bigger play, though. That should have been a pick. That should have been a pick by Greg. That's a great read by him. That's almost like, you know, the thing with Greg, bro, it's like he, the same thing that you love about him could get you beat sometimes. You know what I mean? Pretty much. Because the same play on that, he broke, came down, broke it up, should have made the pick. It's kind of like the same one he had before when he got beat, but they overthrew him. He went for the double move. So it is what it is. He do got that badger mentality. Oh, he 